What's going on, y'all? It's Jody Pacel with Thon3 today on the Hard Count. Five-star safety Caleb Downs commits to Alabama. We have Chad Simmons to break it all down next. We are joined by On3's director of recruiting, Chad Simmons, to break down this commitment. Chad, Caleb Downs committing to Alabama. The rich get richer. What does this, what does this mean for Alabama? It's what you just said, J.D., the rich get richer. I mean, not, nothing changes. Bama is being Bama. Of course, number one player in Georgia, number one safety in the country, uh, an elite player that schools across the country wanted. Nick Saban, Charles Kelly, Traveris Robinson, so many others at Alabama came in, got the job done, and landed the five-star safety. Big get, obviously, for Alabama. What went into this for Caleb Downs? Because you and I talked about this a little bit, was very particular in how he went about this. What was it for Downs that got him to Alabama? You know, Downs is, I feel like, one of the, the smartest players, recruits in the country in this class. I mean, he really was methodical uh, with the process. He really broke down from pros and cons to, you know, on the field, off the field, what each school had to offer. And in the end, he felt best about Alabama. I think, number one, it came down to player development, you know, what Bama does, their track record, their history under Nick Saban. He knows, you know, position coaches, coordinators come and go in Tuscaloosa. But in the end, Nick Saban is Nick Saban. He's still there. He's still the leader. He's still the head coach. He has a hand in player development, coaching DBs. And number one, I think it came down to that just their track record, development, NFL production. And then off the field, too, I mean, he looked at the, the education part, life after, life after football, how they'll set him up off the field, down the road from a business perspective, real estate perspective. And he did his due diligence on each school, including Notre Dame, Georgia, Ohio State. But in the end, he felt the total package at Alabama led him to Tuscaloosa. And how close was it? Because there was the home state Georgia in the mix. There was Ohio State in the mix. How close of a race was this in the end for Caleb Downs? I think it was very close, J.D. I think Notre Dame was somewhat on the outside looking in over the last couple of months. It got him on campus for an official visit. But I think Georgia made up a lot of ground over the last couple of months. It made it very interesting late. Ohio State was always there. Their DB development as well, uh, you know, spoke to him directly. And he liked Ryan Day and his program uh, in Columbus. But uh, I think he went back and forth a little bit the last couple of weeks. But I really think from the official visit to Alabama on until now, you know, Bama was in a great spot. They were challenged, no doubt about that. He had conversations, deep conversations, with Georgia and Ohio State up until the commitment time. So I, I do think it was tight. I do think it was a battle for Alabama, but Bama, I think, pulled ahead, you know, during that official visit and it really solidified things over the last few days. And Caleb Downs being the number one safety in the 2023 class, how early do we see him on the field in Tuscaloosa? Yeah, I think regardless of where he went to school, J.D., he was going to play early. He's one of the, I think, one of the most college-ready players in my eyes in this class. I mean, that there's not much he can do any better than what he does. He's so smart on the field, gifted athlete, athletically, ball skills, coverage, athleticism, versatility, and then just the mindset. He knows he has to work. He knows what he's going into at Alabama, and I think he likes the challenge he'll get at Alabama. I think you'll see him play, whether it be in you know, the base defense, nickel packages, dime packages. He could play star, money, free, strong safety. There's so much he can do and so much value to what he brings on and off the field. I'm not saying he'll start but I think he'll make a day one impact at Alabama. Now, it seems like there's no way to really overstate this commitment. Huge gift for Alabama. But what message does this send to the rest of the college football world? To me, it's just Alabama's Alabama and nothing's changing. You can talk about, obviously, Georgia beating them last year in the national championship game. Bama's not going away. Bama is still Bama. They're going to get the top players in America. These kids want to be challenged. They want to play with the best. They want to play with who they think is the best coach in the game, and that's Nick Saban. I mean, Caleb Downs himself told me he, see, he sees Nick Saban as the Yoda of college football, the knowledge, the experience. He can teach him so much. 
Bama's not going anywhere. To me, this is Bama saying, hey, we're the best in America. We're going to get the best in America. Well, Chad, I appreciate you making time. The busiest man in all of recruiting, it seems like. Appreciate you making some time to jump on here with us. Caleb Downs is headed to Tuscaloosa to become a Jedi Knight at Alabama. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.